What's going on everybody? Welcome back to part 6 of building Netflix app from scratch using Swift 5 and UIKit. In this part, we're going to complete our API calls for the rest of the sections over here and also we're going to fix some stuff regarding the UI of the app itself. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and open Xcode. And over here, let me just go to our resources folder. Let me create a new file. It's going to be a normal Swift file. I'm going to call that extensions. And over here, let me extend the, um, the string data type. Let me create a new function over here. It's going to be called capitalize first letter. And that function is going to return a string. And inside that function, I just need to type in for here, return self dot prefix. I'm going to choose the first letter. And I'm going to change that to an uppercase. And then I'm going to um, add the self dot lowercase dot drop first. So as you can see here, I'm only choosing the first letter, converting that to an uppercase, and the rest is going to be a lowercase. And I'm going to drop the first letter so that we don't have multiple um, multiple letter, as you can see here. So let me just go back to our home view controller. And before I use that function, I just need to rearrange my array over here. Um, I noticed that in the real app, um, the trending TV comes after the trending movies. So we're, let's just do that. And let me fix that by adding that comma. Okay, so let me just go down over here uh, where we set the text for each section header. Uh, instead of typing the lowercase, I'm going to capitalize the first letter. And over here, let me just build and run this and let me see what we got so far. Okay, so everything seems to be working as I expected. As you can see here, the first letter of each section is capitalized. So we utilize the concept of extensions so that we avoid duplicating code over here and just adding code that is not relevant to the controller itself. We just need to handle that in its own extensions. We don't need to capitalize the first letter over here in our home view controller. We don't want to handle this over here in our home controller. It's not relevant, you know. Okay, so in the last part, we just need to fix something regarding the API that we've called to fetch the, uh, the movies over here. Basically, these movies are going to be uh, feed inside this controller view and as you can see here this I'm sorry this collection view and this collection view as you might guess It's all it should only um, Carry the movies, but let me just go ahead uh, for the API and as you can see here we're Calling or fetching the trendings for all kinds of data So instead of all I'm going to change that to movie. Let me just build and run that one more time as you can see here, we get the same results, plus it is filtered. We're only retrieving the movies instead of having both movies and TV at the same call. Okay, so we got the trending movies. So right now, let me just go ahead and get the trending TVs. And basically, it's going to be very similar to this. So instead of using all or movie, we're just going to limit that to use the TV itself. Okay, so let me just go ahead and open the API caller. Yes, we've already opened that. And let me just go ahead, let me just get more room over here. Let me create a new function. Get trending TVs. Okay, we're going to have a completion handler and it's going to be escaping as well. We can just, you know, we can copy that from over here. Okay, let me paste that over here where instead of returning um, an array of TVs, I'm sorry, movies, I'm going to return an array of a TV. Okay, and let me see. The only error we get so far is that because we don't have TV model yet. But just to get things started really quickly, I'm going to return the string for now. And as you can see here, Xcode is no longer complaining about this. So let me just go ahead and uh, initialize the URL that we were going to be working with. So guard let URL is going to be URL string. I'm going to pass over here um, the 
the base URL. Okay, slash three slash trending slash TV slash day. Okay, we're going to be passing the API key over here. So basically, it's the same thing. Um, and you know what, we can just copy that from here, just not to be prone to er any errors. Um, let me pass that. And instead of movie over here, I'm going to pass on TV and else return. So I'll just create a new task URL session dot shared dot data task. I'm going to do that with a request URL request. Okay, that takes a URL, which is basically the URL that we've just initialized up here. And for the um, the completion handler, we're going to need the data. I don't need the URL response. I just need the error. And basically, it's the same thing over over here. So guard let data is equals to data. And also, I'm going to check or make sure actually that the error is equal to nil. And after he, that, I'm going to do do let results equals try um let me just go ahead and see json serialization dot um let me just see here json object yes data allow fra fragments allowed let me just go ahead and print the results over here and after that i'm gonna catch if there's any error so let me just go ahead print error dot localized description what else that we need to do is just we're going to resume our task so that we can see the result of that so let me just go ahead and copy that get trending tvs let me just go ahead to our home view controller and instead of calling the get trending movies function i'm going to um let me see what we can do change that name for for a second get or fetch data because this is just gonna be a test function let me just go over here fetch data and we can um, comment that away because it's already working we just need to uh, test the other one so api caller dot share dot get trending tvs and for the results I'm not going to do anything right now actually because we're already printing that in the other API caller file. So let me just go ahead um, and build and run this and let me see if that is working. So um, we have an error. Let me see what do we have. Okay. Um, cannot call a non function type. Oh, okay. Just um, an extra parentheses. So let me just build and run that and let me see. And as you can see here, we have the response from the server. And as you can see here, each and every one of them uh, has a media type of TV. So that is done. So we just need to create a new model over here to handle the TV response. So um, let me just do that. So it's going to be a new file over here. Let me create a new Swift file. I'm going to call that TV. And let's have a look. So um, as you can see here, we have a TV results, which is basically an array that holds um, basically each and every um, object over here. So let's just do that structure. Uh, I'm going to make that with the same, basically with the same format over here. So instead of trending movie response, I'm going to call that trending TV response. And let's conform to the callable protocol as well. And as you can see here, that has a results. Um, let me just, yeah, and make sure to get the... Um, the spelling correctly that is going to be an array of tv and over here let me just create a new structure i'm gonna call that tv 
also going to conform to the, to the codable protocol. And let me see what do I have for here. Okay, so um, I believe basically it's the same. Um, yeah, I believe it's the same as movie right here. Um, I'm gonna copy that for now. And to be honest, it's not the best practice over here because there is a duplication of code. But uh, I'm not sure that uh, the um, the database or the server itself is going to have the same um, the same thing for the TVs and the movies in the upcoming future. So I'm just you know because I'm not I don't have any control over the server over here. So I'm just going to um, basically get that copied. And I believe um, that's okay. Let me just go ahead back to my API caller. Uh, instead of that, let me just type here TV. And instead of using the normal JSON serialization, let me just go ahead and convert that actually to um, the model itself that we've returned. So JSON decoder, let me have an instance of that. Um, what was it? Um, I believe it's the same one over here. So yeah, it's decode. And we're going to provide the um, the response that we're going to get. So TV or trending TV response dot self. Okay. And the other one is going to be um, using the data that we have returned here. Let me just print the results and crossing fingers. I'm going to wish that this is going to work on the first try. And yes, it's working actually. So yeah, basically this is going to be the trending TV. Uh, we have the trending movies over here. Let me just open um, here the simulator. So let me just go ahead and see. Okay, so we need the popular the upcoming movies and the top rated as well. And this is where we're going to open TMDB one more time. So let me just go ahead and we're going to go through the API or the documentation of the website itself. So let me just go ahead settings, API developers.moviedatabase.org. And yeah. We can search over here. So let's say, for example, upcoming. And yeah, there's an already a method over here. So let's see. Um, I'm going to say try out. And basically, this is the, um, the URL that we're going to use. So let me just go ahead and copy that. Go back to Xcode, API caller. Let me just paste that as a comment over here and let me uh, make a new function. Get up coming. And I'm going to call that upcoming or uh, let me see here. Basically, yeah, it's going to be an upcoming movie. So upcoming movies. For here, we're going to use the same um, signature of the function. Okay, so let me just paste that over here. We're going to return an array of movie. Okay, so let me just go ahead and create the URL for this as well. So guard let URL is going to be equals to URL. And it's going to be from string. And let me just um, paste that over here. So let's just cut that. I'm not going to need that anymore. Okay, so instead of having this, okay, I'm going to remove that. Let me just add the uh, base URL from the constants. So base URL, movie, upcoming API key, we're just going to um, substitute for that as well. So constants, API key, and I believe that's it. So else return, I'm sorry, let me just put that in the curly braces return. So we have our URL. And now let's have the data task as well. So let task is going to be a URL session dot shared. 
dot data task url request is going to take a url which is basically done over here and for the completion handler as well same stuff and as you can see here it's just a type of pattern it's not that hard to get um comfortable with that so um let's just guard let data is equals to data and over here we just want to make sure that the error as well is equals to nil okay let me just do i do catch block print error dot localized description and over here let me just let results it's going to be equal to try json um let's just go ahead for here and type json decoder decode and i'm going to return the um trending movies i believe so um let me just try if that works because i believe it's going to be the same model we're going to use that from data and over here let me just print results and let me just go ahead to my home view controller um this works as well so let me just comment that for now okay and over here let me just type api caller dot share dot um, get upcoming movies for the result right now i just don't need it and let me just build and run let me see here if there is any response for the upcoming movies okay i'm not seeing anything right now so yeah and that's because we've created the task and we forgot to change that to resume so task dot resume let me just build and run and see okay so yeah we actually can use the same model because it's not changed it's the same across all the um the movies that's being retrieved from the database as you can see here so we have the trending movies let me just open that one more time so we have the trending movies trending tvs upcoming movies top rated and popular so let me just go ahead and do the same thing over here so popular get popular um okay so it's going to be basically the same so we're just going to do that really quick and let's just go ahead one more time over here gag upcoming movies is working fine let me just test the other one api caller share dot get popular and we don't need to return anything right now okay so let's build and run and let me see and before i do that i already again forgot to uh, resume the task and let me just build and run and let me see okay so um yeah i'm sorry guard let guard let yeah that's going to work and we forgot to add the try keyword over here and yeah everything is working fine right now so basically we just need to set up one last um one last api call which is basically the top rated so let me just go ahead and do that really quick and um yeah as you can see everything is set up right now so basically that's it for this tutorial we've completed our api calls and in the next tutorial we're going to extract the um the information that we just need over here and start adding uh pictures and posters and have something really working on our app so that's it if you've liked this video please consider subscribing to my channel it would mean a lot to me and hit that like button and if you have any question you can just leave it in the comment section down below so again please have a good day and stay safe